hey guys welcome back to the channel today my name is Usa Tale. so today's tutorial video i'm going to be sharing with you guys how to draft a victorian corset pattern if that sounds like something you're interested in please keep on watching and let's get started welcome back guys so this is the pattern paper i'm going to be using to share with you guys how to draft the pattern and these are the measurements you're going to be needing in my previous videos, I shared a video on how to properly take measurements for your corset and bustier. If you haven't seen that video, use the card you are seeing on the screen right now to watch that video. So to start this tutorial, I went ahead to rule a line here which is going to serve as my starting line. Now on this starting line, I'm going to go ahead and take all the horizontal measurements. I'm just going to go ahead and measure to my bust point. Then I'll take it to the under bust, take it to the waistline. I will take the full length of this top, then I will go ahead and connect these dots. After doing that guys, the next thing you are going to do is to label the shoulder line, the bust point, the under bust, the waistline and the full length. Now I am going to come to the shoulder line, I am going to take my shoulder measurement divided by 2. So go ahead and mark your shoulder measurement divided by 2 on this shoulder line and mark it. Then you are going to come down by 1 inch for the shoulder slope. Then you come here and measure 3 inches for the neck width. And you come down by 3 inches for the neck depth as well. Go ahead and connect the shoulder slope. And as well, connect your round neckline. After doing that guys, now the next thing you are going to do is to come to this point here. You are going to go down by your bust measurement divided by 6 plus 1.5 inch. So for my case, dividing my bust measurement by 6 plus 1.5, I have 7.5. So I came down by seven and a half, then I connected the lines. So after you're done doing that, label it the chest line. Now the next thing you're going to do is to come to this line here and divide what you have here into two to get the midpoint. So now you're going to go in from that point by 0 0.75 inch. You come to the chest line and take your round bust measurement divided by four. Now you're going to go ahead and connect these dots to give you your armhole just like this after you're done doing that guys now the next thing is to come to the bust point you're going to take your nipple to nipple measurement divided by two go ahead and take it on the waistline as well and on the full length now connect these dots after you're done doing this now you're going to come to the waistline you're going to take 0 0.75 inch on both sides of the line that you just drew this is because we are drafting a corset if we were to be a normal blouse you will go out by half inch now come to the full length line and mark up one inch go ahead and connect the dots just like this after you're done doing that now you're going to come to the shoulder line here you're going to measure what you have here and get the midpoint of it just make a mark there you're going to connect this mark to meet the bust point just like this after you're done doing that now it's time to determine the chest line where our blast is going to get to so how i normally do this is i just measure from the shoulder line i measure down seven inches so this totally depends on you you can choose to measure six eight inches it depends on how open you want your corset to be so i really line there now on this line i'm going to take half inch on both sides just like this mark half inch here and half inch here now i'm going to use my curve rule to connect this to meet the boss point just like this guys after you're done doing that now you're going to come to the under bust so this dart line that i have on the under bust i'll take half inch on both sides of it i will as well use my curve rule to connect it to meet the boss point After you're done doing that guys, now the next thing is to connect from this point to meet that point down there. So just use your straight ruler to do this. So just connect it like this and like this. So after you're done connecting, you will realize that it's cut through the darts. Don't worry about that, it's perfectly fine like that, okay? So now guys, the next thing I'm going to do is to draw out the neckline. So I'm just going to come to this line here. I will go down by one and a half inch and I will mark it. Then I will use my curve rule to draw a V neckline there, just like this. After doing that, just blend the lines. 
now you're going to as, as well use the curve rule to draw a line to meet the armhole area just like this so guys this is what you're going to have now the next thing i'm going to do is to take all the body measurement this was our initial bust measurement divided by four i'm going to measure this that and add it then i will add extra one inch for the sewing allowance then just go ahead and blend this line together like this okay after you're done doing that now you will come to the under bust line you're going to take your round under bust measurement divided by four you're going to measure the dart and add it to it you will add extra one inch for the sewing allowance then come to the waistline and do the same thing take your round waist measurement divided by four measure the dart and add it then add extra one inch for the sewing allowance then you come to the full length here you take your lower waist measurement divided by four and add extra one inch for the sewing allowance go ahead and connect this don't worry that um the stress ruler is not meeting the under bust point just connect it like this it's fine so guys this is what you're going to have now the next thing is to come here and go up by one inch so just go ahead and use your curve rule to make a curve here so that this hem part won't just be totally flat so this is what you're going to have now the next thing you're going to do is to create the side that so i just went up there by one and a half inch which is the difference between the length of the front and the length of the back so go ahead and roll it like that so all these parts now we are going to cut it out if you watch my video on how to properly take measurements you will notice that the length of the front is different from the length of the back so guys i will advise you watch that video before you even watch this so that you understand what i'm doing so now the next thing i'm going to do is to measure one and a half inch on all these sides so i'm just going to cut this this totally depends on you I, I just want to make it more pieces so on this line you can choose to have a little dart but i decided i don't want to have that on this line so this is it guys now i'm going to label the center front piece one the center front piece two the side front piece three so after you're done doing this go ahead and cut this out so guys you can see i'm cutting this part open and i stopped at the um boss point so just cut this part open like this this is for me to be able to close up the side that you can see what i just did use a cello tape to just cello tape this just like this now go ahead and proceed to cutting everything so guys this is what you're going to have after you are done cutting as you can see i have all the pieces this part that is a bit short i will just bring a pattern paper i will cello tape it and i will just trace it out So guys after you are done tracing this is what you are going to have we have the center front piece one piece two and piece three so now i'm thinking i should divide this piece three into two this totally depends on you i just want to have it more pieces you know one thing about victorian corset is the fact that it has a lot of pieces you can choose to cut it in a horizontal way like this in a slanted way or you choose to cut it straight but for this tutorial i'm going to be cutting mine straight so i just went ahead to really a straight line there now i'm going to go ahead and cut it out just like this then i was well go ahead and label this the side front piece four so now the front pieces i have four pieces for the front so this is it so for the back you're going to bring a fresh pattern paper like this i already will a line here which is going to serve as a starting line on that line go ahead and take all your horizontal measurements measure to your bust point your waistline the waistline for the back is different from the waistline of the front again i will say go ahead and watch the video on how to properly take measurements so that you understand what i mean by that so i went ahead to rule the lines as you can see label it the bust point the waistline and the full length this is the shoulder line now on the shoulder line you're going to take your shoulder measurement divided by two come down by one inch take your neck width come down here by one and a half inch connect your shoulder slope and as well connect your round neckline for the back 
after you're done doing that you're going to come down this line by 7.5 which is your armhole depth go ahead and connect it just like this now label the chest line on the chest line you're going to take your round bust measurement divided by four then you're going to use your curve root to create the armhole connect the chest line just like this after you're done doing that guys you're going to take your nipple to nipple measurement divided by two on the chest line on the waistline and as well on the full length you can see i don't have any zipper allowance because this blouse i'm going to be putting a loop so go ahead and connect these lines just like this after doing that come to the waistline and take half inch on both sides so we are taking half inch for the back that so on the chest line come down by one inch go up by one inch on the full length go ahead and connect the dot so guys after doing that this one you're going to have now we're going to take our round body measurement this was our initial bust measurement i added one inch for the sewing allowance come to the waistline take your waist measurement divided by four add the dot add extra one inch for the sewing allowance Come to the full length, take your lower waist measurement divided by 4 and add the sewing allowance. Go ahead and connect these dots. After connecting guys, on the full length, you're going to go up by 1 inch. Just exactly the same thing we did for the front piece. Go ahead and connect it just like this. After you're done doing that guys, the next thing you're going to do is to draw the neckline for the back. So on this armhole line, I'm just going to use my curve rule to draw a little curve just like this so this is the neckline for the back so after doing that now i want to divide this part into two just use your straight ruler to create a straight line there so this is it now i'm going to go ahead and cut out the loop so for the loop i'll be cutting out one inch here i don't want my body to be too revealing so that's why i'm cutting out one inch so just go ahead and cut out one inch like this so this part now is going to be cut off we don't need this part so now you're going to go ahead and label the center back piece one the side back piece two and the side back piece three after doing this cut it out So guys, this is what you're going to have after cutting. These are all the back pieces, piece one, two, three. And these are the front pieces, as you can see. So I'm just putting everything on the table now for you to see. These are all the pieces that you're going to be needing. So now when you bring the back piece, the side back piece, and put it together with the side front piece, you can see it is the same length. No one is longer than the other. This is because of the dart that we took at the side of the front. So guys, this is how to draft a Victorian corset. In my next video, I'll be using this pattern papers to cut on my fabric. I'll be using to share with you guys how to sew a Victorian corset top. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be seeing you all in my next video.